So there's this amazing video on YouTube doing its round. It's called Puparia. And a lot of people are asking, what is this about? What does it mean? And in this video, I want to deep dive it a little bit and go deeper into the meaning of where, let's say, the idea comes from or what does it mean? And I actually have exclusive gameplay footage. So it actually might be a computer game sometime. And I found it on the internet somewhere and it's written in Japanese. But as I lived seven years in Japan, I think I can somehow figure out what it means. Um, and let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a short look at the video uh, together. And let's, let's try to understand really the deeper meaning of it. So first of all, it's, it's made by, by one person. Um, Shingo Tamagawa. Tamagawa is also a river in Tokyo, but I don't think he's from there. So first of all, here it says uh, Pupa Yume, Pupa Dream. So it's kind of uh, talking about a dream world, which is um, yeah very interesting. And let's see here, we are going in the first scene. Shingo Tamagawa, first of all, very well done. I love the color patterns and all. It's very dreamy. And so in the first scene, we see this girl here with some mythical creature, but she seems quite indifferent to the situation. And you really, it makes you wonder what's going on here? Where are we going? Is she actually dreaming? Is he sleeping perhaps or something else? Well, she just left. And let me just stop it right there because here I've actually found some screenshots of the game. So let's have a look at that because the mythical creature is saying something. Ah, here is the first screenshot. So the creature actually says, Asoboyo, let's play. But uh, it seems like um, the girl ignores it. This is the only screenshot which I have. And in the next screenshot, he's asking, uh, Where are you going? Um, so that's kind of a, a strange, strange start. No? Of the, of the video, you're not really sure what's going on there, right? So anyway, um, that's all I can say for that. The creature itself, I didn't find it in any folklore or anything. So let's just continue. Now this is an amazing scene here. And from the bed, you can see something's up. And I think you can already see from his poster that he has incredible back pains. And he just woke up in the middle of the night, probably after a day of hard work, just working all day with a bent back like that. He definitely needs to get some help. But at this point, it just seems like um, he needs to pee. The moment he touches the door, he realizes something. And I'm not so sure what it is. But I also have here some gameplay footage again. So let's have a look at this screenshot. It might help us further in understanding what's this all about. Ah, here it is. So in the first screenshot, he's actually saying, Yabe, senaka wa itasugiru. After all, that means like, oh, my back's hurting so much. Ma, toriaize oshikko. Well, for now, let me take a leak. Yeah, it will make sense if you wake up in the middle of the night. Of course, you have to take a leak. So that's all, all this is about, right? Let's see if he says anything else. Ah, and the next scene is like, he's saying like, Kono door wa This door is fucking locked. That's what he's saying. So he's probably very upset. And let's, let's watch the continuation of the video on how it is further um, resolves now then. So there's something in the corner in the back, a lot of doors. And now all of a sudden, this owl guy comes. And then owl in Japan actually means good fortune so probably the owl will just help him to open the door now this scene i didn't really understand it just seems like a girl could it be the girl from the first scene the hair is shorter now whoa let me just stop it there the hair is shorter now but it just seems like this girl and let me just just go one frame back she stole the clothes of sakura chan from naruto this is the only explanation uh, which i have and they're also in this in this forest, you know, where they do their first super mission to become the tuning, which they all fail. Um, and I think that that's what this is about. Yeah? It went to Naruto's world. Shingo Tamagawa is probably a Naruto fan. Can't help it any further. 
And now let's go to the, the finale, the best part of this video. And here is the protagonist, the fox guy, lady. And this is where the most controversial comments are around, right? Everybody thinks it's a girl. But honestly, I don't see any, any, any bra. It doesn't really look like a girl to me. It's just uh, some guy with long hair and some uh, body tattoos and a fox, right? And perhaps there's also some, some screenshots about that. But we will find some evidence in a bit. Let's have a closer look. It's very great eye expressions there. It's really amazing. Now look, all these guys and, and, and people, and it seems to be in Japan, they look like Japanese people. And I know these looks. And let me just stop it here, right? I know these looks. I mean, I lived in Japan for like seven years, seven years with these very kind hearted people and these very creative people. And I know these looks when I know that. Trust me, after seven years and even visiting 1000 temples, being really immersed in this culture. And I know this look, and especially this look, you know, even I managed to get after seven years, a Japanese waifu. And for some reason, she ended up marrying me. Sorry for her, but this is the look which I got very often when I went to the public bathhouse and took off my clothes and they could see my humongous cock. And that's really my evidence that, you know, it's not a she, but this guy's like, whoa, something's going on there, right? This person isn't a girl, it's a guy. And I also found some real gameplay footage about it. So let's have a look at that for a second, right? Ah, and here it's written. So he's saying like, like you know, everybody's thinking I'm a girl, but it's not true, I'm a guy, right? Right, Konchan? And Konchan is like, uh, like kind of a nickname they give to a fox. So that's what they're, that's what, they, what, what he's saying there. So that's my evidence. And I already felt it the first time I watched it, the expressions of these people, they're clearly impressed about something. And there's like one less screenshots, which I have. That's this guy. And he's saying, Holy shit, you have a dick? You know, that's what he's saying. Like, yeah, I'm not sure, man. This is the, the gameplay videos. So I, I mean, I didn't create that, right? I found it somewhere on the internet. Hmm? The internet, uh, yeah, uh, you can find anything on the internet, what you want. So, and this, this pretty much then concludes the video. And now that he knows that they know, you can see on the expression in this, in this next shot that he's absolutely relieved and happy. He realizes they finally got it. And that's then the end of the Poopa dream. This was my take on the video. What do you think? We're very interested to hear about your explanation of this amazing video of Shingo Tamagawa. See you all in the next video. Cheers!